So let's quickly have a, a look over the four solutions. They go from sort of easier to harder in the way that I'll explain them. So the circles first. The, the circles compared with the original image, it, it's hard to get the, the exact layout just because we don't know the colors that I used in the original image. But it's one circle that has three different colors with alpha values on them, multiplied over and then positioned that are overlaid on top of each other. I also included a constant white that I plugged in at the very base layer of my, com my composite to give us a background. I then moved on to the squares and to recreate this was fairly straightforward. It's all driven by one square shape. I have the seven different colors that build them and it was just a, a case of transforming them all into the right position. I eventually named some of my shapes just so I could composite them on top of each other the right way. And using the over mode, I was able to layer things up as they appear. The monster face, again, wasn't overly complex. It just used a multiple, this is our first time using multiple shapes. So in this case, I had a circle that splits into four different variants for the two pupils and the two eyes. I then have a solid rectangle that does all of my nose and mouth features. And then one final rectangle that deals with the eye at uh, the glasses. One little trick that I did input here was I only made half of the mouse, uh, half of the mouth. I then used this flip top to allow me to composite my two side, my two left hand sides of the mouth together. So this one and this one, I then flipped them on the x axis so that it, it literally made a mirrored version of it. And then finally, probably the most complex shape is the, the four section puzzle. And this one was just a, a real brain teaser to get you thinking about using different shapes. I actually showed you in the original video where I used a circle to create a polygon. So I was hoping that you would remember that. Otherwise, the only way to make a triangle is to turn a circle into polygonal mode and give it three sides. So we can see it up here in the top right. I used a single rectangle for all the square features, so the orange, uh, the yellow one in the top left and the six different squares in the bottom right. My donut is simply one circle that has a big one that is underneath a smaller one. And then for my lines, I just made one very skinny rectangle, used the same flip technique to allow me to get the cross. They're all then on composited on top of each other to create the output. Now, I hope that that made some sense to you. This file will obviously be available to you. And in the next lesson, we will start looking at how to introduce data into our networks using CHOPS.